Day 27. Wow! Look at the size of that ship. Maybe I should have made mine bigger. Anyway, this should be fun. I deserve a holiday after all this running around. I wonder if there's more time pieces here, though. Hey, what's up, Buffs Jar, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last episode, I only a little bit failed at doing a purple time rift, and we finally got to board the ship that I've recently found out is the SS Literally Can't Sink, which is hilarious. And there was also something I forgot to mention that I have henceforth forgot to mention a second time. Right. Forgot. Yeah, I remember now. So, when I opened the game for to get a background for the uh, Time's End episode. When I opened it up, it said, hey, thanks for being a super fan. You can now start a new game as Bo Kid. So uh, that was pretty neat. And in a similar vein, when I went to get a background for last episode, I activated this thing to go back to the first stage. And would you look at this? There is an act two, ship shape. So uh, that's pretty much all that you missed. I'm pretty sure that we're not missing and no, we are. We are missing stuff in Bon Voyage. I'd presume ship shape is probably the same area because we're on a ship, but just to be safe and just to make sure I don't touch any new content when I'm just going to look around for stuff. We're gonna head back into Bon Voyage and start looking around for like rift tokens and such. Cause there is, for a fact, I know one that I missed because uh, I tried hopping up there and uh, failed spectacularly and just decided to do the DLC either way. If my voice seems a little more raw than normal and uh, not in the sense like uncompressed, which I'm never doing that again, in the sense that it might sound a little off and maybe a little bit more gravelly than normal. The reason for that is I actually woke up without my voice. So I was fully ready to uh, just not record today and send out a tweet saying, hey, uh, no video, like, I'm not gonna record today, so there may or may not be a video this week. But <clears throat> as I woke, oh wow, Jesus Christ, video game, chill out. That wasn't OBS that time, that was just my game. As I woke up and did my usual routine of food and drink and teeth, my voice has slowly come back. And in this current moment, my voice is still not 100%, as you can most definitely tell. I am capable of commentary and speaking. Okay, so how in the actual bunger do I get up to this rift token? Because I can't run on these pillars, as you can tell by the fact that they dither, dither like smithers. So I'm thinking maybe I can hop on this railing here, wall run up, and then climb up there? But I tried that, oops, but I tried that last time and that's what goofed me up, I think. Or wait, did I no bonk? I remember, I, I no bonked. So if I go over here, yeah, this is what I did. This is what I did. So now I equip the no bonk badge, which is that one. And now, oh, that was a lot. Hey, hey, ha ha, let's not die boost rift token. All right, cool. I really don't know what happened with the game that made the doors so janky now. I can't think of what it possibly could have been. Cause like, the doors have always been, they haven't always been, I don't know why I started like that. The doors haven't always been goofy like they are now, where anytime I go through a door, the game freezes and stutters immensely and then I'm just inside. Cause they're like, there was an animation for me opening and going through doors, but now there no longer is, and I'm curious why that is. I'm wondering if maybe it has something to do with me changing the whole, like, dynamic animation quality thing? Maybe? I'm not sure. But uh, speaking of changing settings just now, if uh, my cadence is a little different, and I started the uh, continuation of that statement in a weird way, uh, it's because, um, I noticed that the recording was once again being ass, so I uh, tweaked some settings and noticed that, uh, hey, my game is now being ass, so I uh, have been messing with settings for a little bit to try and uh, fix both OBS to as best as I possibly can, and the game to be as best as I possibly can, which seems to be working for the time being. I'm sure that will change. Hi, Nomad! It is good to be traveling again, though the view here is not quite as nice as the Alps. Not nearly, mainly because there is water and a uh, ocean around the entirety of us right now, and uh, oh, not the entire the cities up there, but uh, it's horrifying, is my point. We gotta go down now, into the pool. Excuse me, do you have a rift token in things? 
What? Oh, you do. You were hiding them from me, Seal. Don't you give me that look? Rip token. Oh, hey, and then I can talk to you. I thought the pool would be heated, seeing as it's so cold out, but it isn't. I almost froze my feathers off trying to take a dip earlier. At least the seals seem to be having a good time. Couldn't possibly tell you why. Squeeb. I'm getting. I'm really bad at these squeebs. Squeeb. All right, going up more. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Okay. How do I get all the way up? Hey, lifeguard seal. Do you have anything to say? Particularly how I get up there? Excuse me. No running by the pool, please and tanks. <laughs> please and tanks. <laughs> Thank you. I've been here. Oh, well, this is an interesting development. Hmm. I am wondering how I get up y'all. Because I really can't reach the, uh... Well, that could work, maybe. If I can stand on that loudspeaker there. I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be a way that, uh... I am once again doing something in a way I'm not supposed to. But, hey, this is the way I am want to do it. Okay, I don't think I can stand on the loudspeaker. Darn it. Haha. <laughs> That's definitely not right, but here we are. <laughs> Squeeb. 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 Huzzah. That was definitely bad gas words, but I don't care. Whee! Assuming the entirety of the seal, uh, sealed the deal. That is really hard to say quickly. Assuming the entirety of the sealed deal DLC is going to be on this ship, I presume all of the collectibles and such are probably going to be immediately accessible. Up. Up. I presume this is probably another situation of loading a different cell, but oh no, actually it's right here. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> and it's underlined as well. The SS literally can't sink. <laughs> um. Okay. Is there any way I can like raise this lifeboat? Maybe there's a button here. That might be interactable. Nope. Okay. So, is there potentially a way I can come from up? I don't think so. I feel like it wants me to hop from onto here, onto there, onto there, onto there. But I don't see a way to get up to this one that would make it easier than just going up to the one that I need to. I suppose if I can... <sighs> Alright, this is another bad gas words one, but we're going to give it a shot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to squeeze scoob. Damn it. We are going to squeeze scoob up here. If I cannot suck at the video game. We need to run along the guardrail to be able to long strafe jump, big one there, long jump, strafe jump at the same time, into that porthole there. And ideally, that actually is a divot I can stand on and not just a wall with a fancy texture. Oh, I'm probably gonna need the bonk, no bonk for this, because this is definitely not how I'm supposed to do this, but this is, this is how I'm gonna try. Here we go. Huh, hit, huh. Alright, I don't think that's actually a, a divot I can stand in, but I'm going to try one more time. Alternatively, I can go up more, so I could just long strafe jump directly to the platform over there. Which seems more like the kind of thing I would need to do. Okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely not a divot I can go in. I didn't even, like, bump in. I just got to make sure to ride on the rail. <laughs> Otherwise, this won't work at all. There we go. That actually could have been potentially what I needed to do, but that still felt a little weird. Rift token. Okay, much more down, so I'm thinking uh, new cell time. All right, now the place is opened up and it looks like it's in the laundry room, maybe? I feel like it might be 
literally directly above me right now. Yeah. Because I can wall jump. Triangle jump. Triangle jump. Oh, it's one of the long and unsatisfying ones. Boo. Whatever. Rip soaking. Thankfully, the interior cell isn't actually all that huge. So, it's pretty easy to weed out where they are. I... That's a good point. I don't think I actually went on the underside of the helm. Oh, bunger. I forgot where the helm is again. Oh, actually. It might be in the casino. Okay, definitely not in the casino, but definitely under the casino. So, let's try in... Uh, Electro Squeeb's room. I call him Electro Squeeb, but he's definitely not a Squeeb, he's an octopus. I could have sworn I. Dad, kid, why are you like this? I could have sworn. I got the relic that was here. Or is there more? Or is this just near where I need to be? It hurts. Oh! Electropus, you didn't tell me. It's up on the pipe and such. officially declared this uh, bullshit dumb and stupid, so I'm just gonna go on to the next stage and assume that that is possible when I progress. Because Jesus fucking Christ. Checkpoint, right? Those are a thing. Anyway, back to Hub. Oh my god, that was obnoxious. I, it was so obnoxious, I was definitely just not getting how I was supposed to do that, but like... Jesus. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Uh, Collectathon BS shall be uh, dashed aside for a while. And I instead shall go on to the second act of Ship Shape. Kablam! That's a good seal down there. Look at that seal. Lost and found, huh? Hey guys, before I talk to you, I just want to check some. Yep, coin is still up there and it is still impossible to get up there. Vibe. Okay. Hi, lost and found and things. Hi, miss. How can I help you? Oh? There's something you want in the lost and found? Hmm. The captain lets us pick something from it if we work very, very hard. Maybe you could help. Or, you know, you could give me back my lost item, but either way. But you'd have to ask him nicely. Just follow the mess to his room. Sure thing. I know where the helm is. Rather, uh, I know how to get to the helm, I suppose. Because I've gotten there in exactly one way, and I do not know any other way to get there. Damn it! They came out here, and then I sprung us on the umbrella, and then I sprung us on the other thing, and then over here. I guess that is following the mess. Maybe this is the only way to get to the helm, then. That right there says no, so <laughs> never mind. Hello. What's that, pup? You want to help out? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, sure. Maybe something will get done around this mess of a boat for once. It'd be a first. I'd be happy to help. All right. You don't need to deliver drinks, some food, and a few other things. And do it quickly, pup. Oh, yes, sir. There are some other jobs that'll need doing, so pay attention. Are you ready to start? Heck yeah. Uh, you can start by getting rid of some of these boxes for me. It's starting to get messy in here. You got it. Bex. Um. Do I need to do one at a time, or? Bex. One of 18? 
Okay, um... And grab... Or no, the inn. Okay, got it. Sprungus. Oh, that's the total thing, not 18 boxes. Got it. Alright, we're next. Uh... Oh, jeez, oh, heck'em. And then... Die boost, just cuz. Into the there. Ow. Hello. Uh, no, this is... No, wait, no, I can do this. So we go around, and then through the serving tables, and then the up, and then the uppies. Tactical uppies. Oh my god. I could just take the stairs, but that's not fast enough. Okay. That can... Wait. Eh, cause the helm needs attending to right now. Oh my god, camera, please. Helm. Go up the stairs, please. Like, up the stairs. Bex. And then, and the down. And the trash. And then, through the kitchen. Oh, jeez. And then, up to here. Whoa! Okay. I wonder if that's an issue with the frame limit or a V-Sync or something. Oh, I gotta bring that to Electropus. I know where he is. Uh... I, I trust my instincts more than the game. Go around here, into reception, free health points. Oh, I gotta bring it up to him, up to him, okay. Cool. Hey there, Electro Squeep, here you go. Have fun. No bonk. Okay, this is easy. I can do... Oh, alright, know what I meant to give me. There we go. Whatever. Hamper. And around. And then, is that... Soda Pop? What? Okay, that's not safe. Hate video game. Whatever, it was a skip. Oh my god, let me jump. I'm one of the desk. Going up the stairs this time for convenience sake. Then around, here, restock the vending machine, up Squappy, then down Squappy, 360. Ah, uh, whatever, I don't care. Damage boost, I'll take it, because there's health right here. Uh, I have the roast beast. Um, uppy. This is an up situation. Table's in the way. On the chandelier here. And then roundy. Uh, the doors here. And then downy to the owly. And then uppy, I guess. Oh, geez. I'm only halfway there. Okay, whatever. The grabby, chippy, those are cards, whatever. Shut up. And grabby, grabby. You got it, gamer. Here you go, uncoded. Okay, there's one that I'm very close to losing, but that's okay. I really gotta go up for that one. Um. Oh, wait, no, that worked, actually. How the... What? Okay, can I, like... I can double up, right? Because I've been able to pick up multiple things in the past either way. Give me the thing, video game, please! Oh my god! Alright, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh my god.
health on the way. See, the important thing to be able to do things at a time limit is just not worry about the time limit. Just operate as if you're not on a time limit, but you want to get your job done quicker. Oh my god. Fine, I'll go over here. Shut up, die. So, the, see, the thing is, if you don't worry about the time limit, then you won't be thinking about the time limit, and therefore you won't rush and make mistakes. Uh, trees. Need to go up the trees. Instead, you'll be... I hate everything. That God is dead. Existence is purposeless. It's on the other side. Ah, yes, just go directly straight up with no, with no rhyme or reason whatsoever. That's fair to me. I have a way to get up there. Alright, great. Just fail me. Oh, I'm not... I haven't lost if I... Okay, well... I don't know where the fuck anything is. This place is a goddamn maze. Who the fuck made this ship? Cool. This is your captain speaking. You can stop now, pup. Come back to control, I guess. Okay. Hi. Just like the seals. That's no good. You just made more of a mess, pup. Try again. Or don't. Whatever. Alright, I would like to try again. Uh, wow! Mm. So, <laughs> uh, this amazing part of the video game, by the way, is very much uh, highlighting the parts of the game I would attribute why I did not rate this game's gameplay perfect. Because, ooh, wow. Camera and... I, how the come do I get up there? Camera and, like, name... Uh, something that I didn't think of when I was raiding the game, but I definitely subconsciously thought of was uh, wall running when I really, really don't want to. That happens a fair bit. What? Am I supposed to pluck flowers? What? Okay, gotcha. Uh, but uh, anyway, wall running when I don't want to is a very big issue with this game because uh, uh, you don't need to be pushing in the direction of the wall you want to run on to be able to wall run. You just need to be in the air while near a a wall that is capable to, re, to be ran on. And uh, that's not great. Not great at all, in fact. Trash. And then through the kitchen. Roundy. Through here, full confidence. Into the the best part of the ship that I love so much. Uppy. Two electro puss. Thanks, buddy. See you later. Back through reception. Jump early so I don't get stuck on the table again. Uppy. And to hit. Oh, fucking goddamn motherfucking cunt. <laughs> hey, kiddo, you're not supposed to be here. I have no earthly clue where in the goddamn fuck the elevator I used to get to the uh, kids play place is, so I will be expressly following the directions of the game. I swear to god. Oh no, it's just great. Here, there's the elevator. No, not the elevator. Okay, what if I just go up into the helm and this leads nowhere? Great. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is the right way. I just didn't immediately see it. Okay, we're good. Alright, uppy. This leads to... Kids Play Place. There you go, kiddo. Stay in there. And then... Drinky... 
drinky up there. Easy peasy. Simple wall jump. There you go. Enjoy your drinks. Uh, hold on. Ah, kiddo. I'm only doing this right now because I have a hard time getting back here. Stay in there. Okay. And now, no more distractions. There's one over here that we desperately need to attend to, and I'm pretty sure that's one I just need to interact with. Open. Not great. Whatever. Not a problem. Hey, buddy. What? Oh, do I need to seat him? Probably. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Wall run. Uppy. Uppy. Into the casino. Over the casino. Uppy. Roundy. And then... No, fuck off. I know where I'm going. And then down here. Up. Uppy. Enjoy your meal, sir. Um, this is right here, so I might as well. There is one. I'm actually I'm right here. Before there we go. Dishes. Now I need to go up. Scream. Uppy. 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 Uh, still uppy? There's a door here, apparently. Oh, Ice Springer. Uppy. Great. That's really good to know. Do this one first, then this one, that, and that one. This is fine. Careful. I can play as normal. Just need to be extra careful. There you go, enjoy your drinks. There you go, enjoy your drinks. And I think this one's potentially down towards the Mafia boss. So, uh, Uppy. Uh, Levator, right. I have time to take a levator. Child, might as well, while I'm here. And once I put Kiddo back... Oh my god, video game. Once I put Kiddo back here, I immediately go back to the elevator, and oh my god, video game, and I need to book it to the farthest one, because I need to do that now. And then Uppy. Squoob. No time to waste. No time for putzing around. No time. I'm not worrying about time, because I'm perfectly fine. You just... Okay, whatever, alcoholic, I don't care. I'm, I don't get paid enough to judge you right now. In fact, I'm not getting paid at all. We're good. So now we hop down here. Farther. Pick you up. There we go. There we go. That's cooking now. So now I need to bring Mr. Mafia all the way back up. Up. He's the last one. Okay, I can officially chill out. This is the last one. I wasn't worrying about the time at all. I am perfectly sane, good, and helpful. All right. Ice hat, Springer. <sighs> and 
and done. Oh, I got a Chivo. Great. Minimum shippable. Clear ship shape without upsetting the captain. 4% of players have this achievement. Wow. Great. Hey, Captain. How, how are you? Well, looks like you actually cleaned up more mess than you made, pup. That's more than most of the crew can manage. I can see why. Help yourself to something from the lost and found. Nobody ever comes back for that stuff anyway. Probably because they don't know they lost it. Oh, jeez. All right. This uh, this episode has been a, a very different array of emotions than the last episode. Oh my God. Please die. Boo, 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 boo. Oh my god. Okay. A rare sticker has appeared in the... <sighs> A rare sticker has appeared in the lava cake, huh? How kind of you. Okay, before we go to the lava cake, I will be treating myself to a... Yeah, is a metro? Am I done with seal the deal? Oh, no, okay. Wow. That was fast. Okay, uh, I guess before we do that, I guess we're finishing Seal the Deal today. I want to go roll the coin op machine, because I definitely can, right? Three times, ballin'. All right. Looking for something good. Make it something interesting. Bam. Don't care. I will, I will only take remixes if you literally force me to. Wow, a remix. Mafia Town electronic remix, don't care. Go again. Kablam, wow, a remix. It's almost like these are the only things that are left. Wow, a remix. Wow, a remix. Train Rush Electro Swing re Okay, fair enough, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, okay. I think these are the only two things left because I'm not seeing anything else. Time stop hat, it's a tin foil hat. Wow, cool. <laughs> Very funny, but I, I like the weird panda hat thing. Okay, and that was three, right? So I'm now out of, yeah, okay. So now we get to go to the lava cake for a third time. Hooray! I will be spend spending no more time than I need to here. In fact, with me talking right now, I'm going to cut directly to where I find the sticker. Wow! Fire Borbis. Hmm. Fire. Okay, I'm guessing that's like Angie's sticker. I'll equip it because Galibar. I'll equip it because uh, Borbis. But uh, either way, I am leaving this area. And I do not intend on coming back. So, while I, you know, load back in and make my way back to seal the deal, if you want to support me in the channel, you can consider supporting me on Patreon for just $5 a month, and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. You'll get things like work in progress art, whether it be for thumbnails or just something I happen to be working on. You'll get access to the raw art files if you want to poke around in my layers or like turn off the signature or something if you want to use it as like your phone background or something. As well as you will get a unique Discord role and access to videos at least a day in advance. Usually it's end up, it ends up being like three days in advance because I can just upload the video and, you know, send it out to patrons like the moment it finishes rather than, you know, having to wait for a Friday for when my videos go live publicly. So if any of that happens to strike your fancy, work in progress art, full resolution art, raw art files, early videos, unique Discord role, if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider supporting me on Patreon for just $5 a month. It helps me out immensely and actually makes it so I can, you know, buy video games and have more Let's Plays ready for you at any given moment. But anyway, uh, apparently Seal the Deal is only a three-part situation, and this isn't Seal the Deal, so that's a bad example. So I suppose let's roll on back 
to the laundry room and see what we have to do for the finale. Which, seeing as how stage two went so well, I, I, I only I expect only the best from Rock the Boat. Oh no. It doesn't look good that that, that thing there is on the, uh, the iceberg. But before I do that, I'm going to really quickly make a detour to the engine room, or the boiler room, the generator room, whatever the fuck it is, to see if that is currently gettable, or if I have to wait until, like, the ship begins to sink to be able to get it. A assuming it is going to be sinking, you know. I don't, I don't know that for sure. It's called the SS literally can't sink, so... Either that's ironic, or... Eh. Extremely accurate. Well, still there, and still unobtainable. Alright, cool. Hey, Captain, what's eating ya? Do I not look busy to you, pup? Go play somewhere. Yeah, you actually look completely unbusy. Let an old captain relax. The seals can handle things for a minute. Okay. Hopefully they've learned not to mess with the steering wheel by now. It's called the helm. Okay, uh, I presume, potentially, maybe, I need to go make sure that they don't do that. I don't like the format of the ship. It tickles my brain in a way that makes me go, where the fuck am I? Hey, Seals, what's poppin'? You're not messing with the helm, are you? Good. Oh. Whoops. Squooshy, 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 squooshy. <laughs> It's me! Okay, uh, hard to port. I'm harding to port. Have we dodged the iceberg, sir? He should have informed me that the iceberg was, in fact, hard to port. That's not my fault. I think I know why that fucking coin was in a bad spot. You hate to see it, and it's definitely not my fault. It'd be smart, but it wouldn't be productive. I got stuff to do. Oh, do I need to save the seals? Oh, that's what the icy effect is. I can't stay in the water for too long or else I, uh, freeze. Oh, I see. The, the, the unhappy seal is just a, an indicator. Okay, um... Eh. Priority number one, save all the tiny conductors. There you go. The last thing I would want is uh, for the conductor to find out that I let all of his grandkids die. But the thing that I want is to go to the fucking electric room and get that one token I missed. Oh, hey, Seal. Thanks, little miss. You're welcome. Uh, Spwint. We got a C-Class disaster here on our hands, folks. Get it, C-Class? Because the ship is sinking into the sea, and we're all going to freeze to Well, I'm not going to freeze to death, but y'all are going to freeze to death? That may sound, you know, selfish and everything, but while I can't freeze to death, uh, I am also petrified of open water, so this whole ship currently sinking deal is not vibing with me whatsoever. Haha. It's called thinking on your toes, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, little bugger. How you doing? Can't talk yet. Got it. Don't worry, you'll get there. You could just push the door open. Damn it. Okay. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'm getting nauseous. Oh, wow, this is hard to look at. Okay. Cold, cold, cold. Don't worry, kiddo, you'll be fine. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Time out. <laughs> Camina. Where's that token? <laughs> Alright, we're equipping the compass badge, and I'm getting that token. Um, this is bad. This is, like, A-class bad. Hey there. Ooh, where are we going? We're going to a lifeboat so you don't die. Uh, I'll just keep going. This is heading in the right direction for whatever this collectible may be. It's definitely going to be a rift token, but... Ah. Token? Token? Directly under me, token. D what? Wow. Okay, damn. Alright. I don't have to. I <laughs> that annoys the crap out of me. Okay, and that was the only one here, so. The, the one in the engine room is literally just annoying as hell to get. I will deal with that another day. Anyway, back to the C-class disaster we've got on our hands. Ship sinking and whatever. We got a whole lot of innocents on board, and I'm dependent on at least getting the tiny conductors out. Oh. Electricity still works. Thanks, Electro Squeeb. Um. Oh, I'm here. Okay, cool. Hi up. Cold, cold, cold. You right, little dude? He's not talking, so I'm going to assume he's probably fine. Hit. Hoop. Okay, bulkhead flung open. Oh, jeez, oh, heck. Alright, uh... I presume I'm probably supposed to go through this bulkhead up here. Hip. Hip. Woo! That was fun. Explosive time! I'm sure this will help. Come on! What is falling from the sky? Oh. Icicles. Got it. I thought the explosive was uh, something that fell down, like we're being mortared or something. Which I definitely had nothing to do with, if we are, in fact, getting mortared. Sprint time. Neom. Hey there, Mafia Man. Let this be a message to you. Eh, no bad blood between us. Stop yelling at me. Okay, that... Whoever that is, indoors, so... Let's head across the ice fields, I suppose, and get this other person over here. Oh, an ice springer. How convenient. That's time stop. Ice springer. Oh, this used to be an ice springer. I see. Um, okay. A little bit more interesting. Ah! Eh, Muffy Man's gonna freeze! Um. Okay, if I just make it up here. Oh, okay. I see y'all. Why are you here? Is that a one of the wall or one of the captain seals or is that just a seal? We are presumably in the Arctic right now. Okay. Long jump ho How you doing? You're like pretty strong, huh? Thanks, fish dude. Okay. Just gotta be super careful. Ooh. Operate as normal. Like I'm not carrying three uh, people at the same time. Wait to lean back and go. Long jump. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright. Last one. We ain't losing nobody on this ship. Ah! Stubbed my toe. Ow. That really hurt. Oh, I may be an ice type, but kicking, stubbing a cold toe is still, eh, painful. Hey, conductor man. I got you. Don't worry. I'm currently palming your ass. So, <laughs> very taut, by the way. Do you work out? I ain't gonna let you die today, conductor man. We've been through too much. 
You saved my ass, now it's time for me to save yours whilst palming it. Huzzah! Long jump! Whew! Hey guys. Don't wait up for me, pup. Get in a boat and scram. <sighs> Captain Man! Oh yeah, he's gotta go down the ship, huh? This is my dang ship, and I'll go down with it. Yes, sir. Also, you're a walrus, so you're, you'll probably be fine. Oh, the Springer's here. Okay, cool. Apparently. I'm not gonna hang around a sinking ship. If you don't make it back quick, we'll leave without you. Okay. Don't worry about me. Alright, I guess I'm saving the walrus from icy water when it's his ship and he wants to get I uh, this one seems a little interesting. I, I'm sure he'll be fine if we just leave and after, you know, he's done sulking about losing his ship and thinking about his mentor that went down in a similar way because he got lost at sea and everything. Uh, I'm sure he'll just kind of, you know, turn around and come back. Or come back to, you know, dry land and everything. That's what I meant. Because he is a walrus, which are seafaring and have a lot of blubber, so they don't care. Hey there, big boy. Got it. Um. Okay. We have our way back now. No. Uh. Do I want to go through the engine room? I'm going through the engine room. Ow, zappy zappy. Plop him butt. Back into sprinting, and we go. Then back up. Through reception. Uh, careful not to stub my toe again. No. I ain't gonna let you die, apparently. Or, I ain't gonna let you go down with your ship, I guess. Mind the toes. We're back up. And we're fine. Up. How are you so strong? I'm not fully sure right now. I think it's the adrenaline. Oh, alternatively, the amount of times I have fall into this frigid water have made me ten times strong than I normally would, which I didn't think would be a thing that is happening. But here we are, carrying a, like, 1,300-pound walrus. No, shut up! Stop asking! <laughs> Ho! Hey, guys. Oh, pup, why wouldn't you just let me go down with my ship? I can't drown, but at least I could pretend for a bit. Exactly. That's what I was saying. But apparently, Hat Kid had different ideas. <sighs> Although, without me, this crew will never be able to get the lifeboats to shore. Fine. Crew, let's go home. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Like, thanks, dudette. I totally didn't see this coming. I got you, bro. Hey, thank you, lass. The little ones haven't learned to swim yet. I could tell one of them was having a rough time, but you don't need to know that. You're welcome. Hopefully our insurance covers this. Anyway, I can't give out refunds, but it looks like there's something shiny on that iceberg over there. Huh. Funny how our ship crashed right next to it. It's all yours, pup. Wow. To the alternate lifeboat. Huzzah. Beep, beep, boop. And with that, I guess that's seal the deal done? Let's double check just to be safe. See if there isn't like another timer to do or something. Ooh, be up an intuition and such and things. Wow! But Allie's done so. Where's this? That's the purple. What? That's blue timer. But that. I forgot! Oh, God damn it! No, I don't want to go back here. Uh, on the bright side, I know exactly where that is, so that's good. Let's just have this ship shape, just so I'm already on the ship. So, that whole, uh, that rift token in the engine room situation, I will be dealing with that on my own time. I will not be recording that. I will probably get a clip of me grabbing it, just for posterity's sake, but I will not. 
I will be dealing with that on my own. You guys don't need to, you don't need to be exposed to that. Which basically just translates to, I'm gonna look up how you're actually supposed to do it, because I can't figure it out. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. If I wanna go up there, then I gotta go out this other door and use the ice springer. Now I'm all the way up, and I go over to the time rift over there. Okay, it was just it was just the lightning that is a blue time rift, which means it will be quick because I don't have to worry about storybook pages and rift bonds and such. Huzzah! And I get to listen to the good music. Time rift balcony. Here we go. This look convoluted. That is a lot, a lot of stuff. Do I need to crawl into this? Yeah. There, there's another thing that the game just, like, never really utilized all that much. Oh, that is mean. Luckily, I know how to dive boost, so... Uh, it doesn't really make you crawl, like, basically ever. And if they did make you crawl, clearly there is a way to do it without crawling because uh, I've done that exactly twice, I think, where I needed to crawl to get somewhere in this game. Just another example of uh, a small thing that categorically made it not a 10 out of 10 for gameplay in me, because that is a genuine flaw where it doesn't like utilize everything the game gives you. As Well, it does utilize it, just not as much as you would hope. Like the time stop hat. Basically, all of the things with the time stop hat, I was able to do without the time stop hat. I was definitely not supposed to, and it made it a lot harder, but I was able to. Yeah. Uppy. Yep. Pop. Zoom. This is cool, though. I, I am liking how much it is, is having me utilize. Damage boost. Ow! Okay, that... That was ass. That was irredeemably ass. Ah, oh. I did that so smoothly the first time. Now I'm actually gonna have to get these health pawns that are down here. Fine, I'll slow my roll. Boring. Not gonna dive boost this time because you're boring video game. Hooby hooby hooby. Zoom. Beep beep. I never really addressed that you can press R2 to beep your horn when you're driving the scoot. It does not like me die boosting all the time. <laughs> Joke's on you, video game. You shouldn't have learned me... Oh my god! That I have the ability to die boost. <laughs> Remember on one of the really early episodes I mentioned that these uh, blue time rifts aren't nearly as hard as the uh, Super Mario Sunshine uh, like bonus levels you would have to do that are of a very similar vein? Oh. Oh, I could have just done that. You know, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I feel like they realized that as well with the base game and like all the blue timers there because uh, this one is rough. Actually, there there was a couple in the base game that are just as rough as that, which, uh, fair enough. Health pod, I'll take my time. I won't dive boost or anything interesting like that because I know I'm not good enough. Just go ahead and say it, video game. Tell me I'm crap at this video game. Tell me I'm crap at you. Hiya! If you're gonna say it, say it with your chest. There we go. All right, and this part's just this part's easy. You just zip zoop. It turning means literally nothing. And now I zoom all the way over. No, 
to the timepiece. Look at all this stuff I passed. Wow. Yoop. Woo! Alright, cool. The Arctic Cruise, all clear. Collect all timepieces in the Arctic Cruise. Okay, I only saw... Actually, I do see some variation in there, so I guess there is some extra stuff I missed. Oh, bam! That's like... <laughs> It's like an ammonite hat. You know, I'll take it. What is it? For the ice hat. Sure, I like my kitty hat, but uh, that's pretty neat. Now that we've gotten, presumably, all of the remixes, uh, we have some interesting stuff left. I'm not sure how much interesting stuff, but we have it. And with that, that is seal the deal all donezo. Right? I think so. It just gave me the achievement for donezo. Yep. All right, Arctic Cruise is donezo. So uh, I guess now I can give uh, it its own independent rating because I promised I would do that. Um, hmm. The first one was very charming and funny. The second one was exceptionally rough. And the third one was just kind of there. So on its own, I would not say Seal the Deal was all that great, especially seeing as how it was really short. It was only three stages. And I didn't necessarily enjoy it all that much outside of the, the baby seals being hilarious. Which, in its own right, is pretty cool. But uh, seeing as how I'm not going to give it, like, a writing thing as well, because I just kind of lump writing into the game in its entirety, and I'm just going to go off of gameplay. Um, I gave it, like, a 6.5 out of 10, maybe. It was decent. It, I just felt like it was really short, and it could have done better. But it, it was fine. Anyway, 6.5 out of 10 for Seal of Deal. Pretty cool. And with that behind us, with... You know, minus one token that is, as far as I'm concerned, impossible to get. That means our next situation would be... Hold on. Forgot how long it takes to get there. Give me back my kitty hat. I press circle, stop equipping and stuff. Very cool. Hazoop! Next up is Nyakuza Metro, which uh, I'm looking forward to because I, I, like I like the aesthetic that at least this train station here has. It's pretty neat. But with all that being said, I am going to be cutting this video here. If you genuinely enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button and become a pup if you haven't already. Also, to hit the bell so it actually does something. I just noticed that there was a giant kitty cat pulling that train. See if it comes back around. Awesome. Also, if you want to support me in the channel, consider becoming a patron for just $5 a month and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. My name's JR, and I will see you guys in the next one.